Team Eureka is basically a culmination of many years of trying to get to a team that works in a mature way that everyone is on the same page. I think the first time we met was basically Proto Dublin. It was a group of Germans, Hungarians, Matei and Austrians. So we met earlier this time. It was Proto Brussels where Martin Deng won. Yeah, we started out as team Tomo Tomo Tomo. We coined it the name in the Brussels, the Proto that I won. Before that we were just like a bunch of guys coming together. And like we changed the team from Pro Tools to Pro Tools, like whoever was qualified just like hooked up their friends. And so I joined the team in Vancouver. Uh, seems to be a trend to join the team and win the Pro Tour. <laughs> uh, so from Tom and Tom and Tom, Tom that have more of a lean back uh, view of the Pro Tour, you know, you hang out with friends and uh, you play the Pro Tour and you have a really good time and that's fine and all, but I think we wanted something more. And f after Vancouver, we had enough players to have a team for at least one more year with gold and platinum. So we decided to rename it and get more structure into the team. I think within Eureka, I think we found a great balance where the transformation was that we just found people that we think would work and we were just adding people that would follow this, this line that, yes, dedicated to week preparation, structure, uh, respect, camaraderie that would just combine all these things and there would be no drama, no tension between the players. Uh, I got onto it pretty early, which was really lucky, uh, because uh, considering the players that we are now rejecting from the team because we don't have room and I'm still like, here way worse than them, but it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty great to be on the team. I, I got in because I was friends with the two Martins who was in originally and they just like wrote in Facebook page, hey can Simon join? And they were not that serious at that point, so just yeah sure. Um, and then I just managed to stay on the Pro Tour. Uh, and therefore stay on the team. M maybe the worst or at least one of the worst players on the team, but uh, I still get to learn a lot and I put a ton of work in here. I'm just a workhorse. It tests all hours every day. Uh, and I, uh, I just want to improve. And then Martin won that tournament and that really helped by getting more people into the team. So we got like Yola and Magnus Lanto, Matei, a lot of really good players, Pierre, Dishang. So that and then when we got these more experienced players from that have played a lot of teams the structure got better like the leadership part a lot so we're definitely without the team captain but i do a lot of the organization stuff and make people reach the same goals and try to hold meetings and stuff like that and uh, that's something i really really enjoy and, and i think together we, we really do some some great things for the team we start uh, the day at nine uh, kind of like a business meeting uh, and you go through what happened last day, uh, talk a little bit about that. And now every time that there is like an argument, everyone looks at me, it's like, what does Fabrizio think? It's like, come on guys, like we're all at the same level. Like it doesn't matter that it was me winning the GB. Like we can keep arguing or discussing some cards like without having more influence of some players and others. For sure, great to be on this team because I think we do have the best limited players in the world on our team. And I was not one of the uh, Limited was not my specialty, let's say it this way, but my proto finishes now since I'm with them are great uh, regarding the limited part. I just knew they were good players, they were willing to work like as hard and in a very organized way, which like fits very well my place. I like I I need things to be like pretty clear, pre cut. So I wanted to try and it went just great. Like time passed by, like I know these guys better and better every time, so I'm more involved with like the core of the team. But yes, I am one of the new members on the on the team. And I have found a role as uh, someone who builds the, the spreadsheets to take care of all the, the results and keep track of all the statistics, as well as someone who, well, sets up some computer simulations to uh, optimize mana bases, things like that. It's great because the team is very good at limited, has a lot of um, very talented Magic players, but at the same time, uh, it's a very laid back environment, something that I need. I, I don't like the high stress, the high tension, yelling. and I fit in really well with these guys. They're just laid back, they just want to work. Um, they're very organized and there's always people testing at every single moment of the day. So, a perfect environment for myself. Start testing with Team Eureka at uh, the beginning of this season for the Pro Tour in Milwaukee. Basically, the biggest contact I had with the team is Matei. Uh, he just, you know, he's the people's person, he knows everyone, He keeps in touch with everyone. He was the first person to put me in a, in a team for a Pro Tour. So my, my goal for this weekend is actually twofold. I've 
for the past couple of Pro Tours, I've been already uh, in the mode of uh, win or bust. Basically, I've been qualified for all the Pro Tours this season because of my gold status from last year. But because of life, I can't do that anymore. I just have, have a job now that has few vacation days. And it's really hard to balance work uh, with life and magic, of course. So unless I win this Pro Tour, I'm going to retire from official magic play. I'm still going to be playing, of course. But I'm just not going to try to qualify for Pro Tours anymore. And I will not play any Pro Tours anymore. Yeah, if I win, I'll keep going. But yeah, it, there's so much upside to just keep going. But second place and I'm retiring. It was definitely uh, a, a group of people I can call each one of them a friend.